Hello everyone! Welcome back. How's everyone doing? So for today's video, if y'all did not see the title, I just got the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation by Hourglass. I got it in the shade Numero 10. Um, and so just going to be reviewing it today, doing a nice, cute, short, sweet review that I like to do here on YouTube. Um, and kind of walk you guys through a, um, I'm going to try to do three check-ins. My first impressions and how um, my opinion may or may not change throughout the day. Let's get on with this review of the Hourglass Foundation. What is up everyone? So I haven't filmed in a really long time. Um, I have my new kitten, Finnegan, and so he's definitely been taking a lot of my time. Woke up today and I really wanted to just talk about the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I briefly tried this on Instagram, but I do want to have a dedicated video to it. And basically, I just really want to see like if I love it. Um, it is a hefty price. It's 58 bucks. Um, I had some like Sephora points, so I applied it to this. Other than that, like, um, I guess we'll see if it's worth $58. Obviously, that's subjective, but um, I'll do a voiceover. It's just quicker for me so that I can start work right after and then give you guys my final thoughts, like kind of my first impression, and then I'm going to wear it throughout the day, and we'll see what I think of it and if we agree or not. Okay. All right, so the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. I took the shade number 10. This foundation is described as a weightless liquid foundation that delivers buildable medium coverage with a light diffusing effect for up to 16 hours. So as you see, this is the shade number 10. And the way that I love applying this is with my fingers first and gently rubbing it into my skin. And then went in with a damp beauty sponge. This one is by Eco Tools to blend it in. As y'all can see, the shade is pretty spot on for me. Um, I agree to the claims. I will definitely be explaining more in the video um, my thoughts on this, but blended beautifully. Let me bring y'all in. So the first thing that I realize right now is that it is beautiful. It's very radiant. It's very radiant. Oh, there's an eyelash. It evened out my skin very, very beautifully. Got rid of a little bit of the redness I have around my mouth a little. It is a really good match for me for now, but um, I guess we'll see when it's not summer. But as you can see on this side, I have the redness, a little bit of just blemishes here. No idea why I have more of an allergic kind of reaction there, but whatever. Um, I also think I'm getting my period, y'all, so sorry if I look a little tired. Um, but I think it looks really good so far. And as you guys saw, um, it blended very easy. I like to apply it with a damp sponge. I don't want to do it with a brush just because, I don't know, my preferred way, I guess, is this, especially because right now my skin's been feeling a little dry. So it's something that's a little bit more on the damp side, um, like application wise. Um, and also I want to show you guys how I would apply it in my everyday day to day life and i really really like it i would say it's more of like a medium coverage foundation um and yeah so let me finish up the site i also quickly want to add that i did film this in late july so i have been trying this and loving this all of august okay so my first impression right now blends beautiful it has a beautiful radiant finish to it i would say it leans radiant to i'm sorry that the stupid freaking sun keeps changing the lighting in my room um it's not stupid sorry about it. um i would say it leans a little bit more of a radiant natural finish um and it's a little tacky but that's okay um i don't really mind the tackiness as long as it's not like sticky but all in all, I really, really love it so far. It looks very natural, very skin-like, and it feels really skin-like on my skin. So I'm just going to rush through my makeup and then we'll see how it all goes.
So I am actually really liking how my makeup turned out. The only thing I'm going to tell y'all is I freaking hate my concealer. I think I put too much of the Fit Glow um, color corrector because it is just bunching up in this eye here and it looks awful. Oh my god. But okay, so so far everything looks so beautiful on it and for the sake of hourglass that's why i went in with the bronzer and the blush the other new gloss that i just got is by tower 28 my nails everything's so dirty uh the shea pistachio i got this on sale it's pretty it goes nice with the with the look it's not my favorite gloss by them um no, it's cute though. It's like a mauve milky gloss. So I will check in in a couple hours. Um, but all in all, I think the foundation looks really beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to ignore my concealer. But the foundation looks so skin-like. It literally looks like I don't have anything on my skin. It doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. Although, like I said, well, the tackiness kind of went away. So it dried down very, yeah, just like a natural radiant finish. Because it's not too dewy, but it still isn't matte. So I love that. That's definitely very up my alley. And I can totally see myself wearing this out um, as well. I don't, so I like that my skin does not look dry. It doesn't look cakey. Um, but obviously it hasn't even been an hour. So we will check back in. And let's see if this will follow through. All right, so this is my eight, five hour check-in. Um, please ignore my lips if you do see them <laughs> because um, like I mentioned, I got a really bad reaction to vitamin C again. But here, I think someone wants to say hi. Everybody, this is Finn. Can you say hi? Look. Say hi, everyone. I'm three months old today. No, wait, not today. What the fuck? The 22nd was his third month. Meaning he's a Taurus. Um, you know, and I feel like he is. You're a stubborn little thing, aren't you? But he's also like a fireball, like an Aries. So, you know, who knows? Okay. Anyways, so that's what's going on with my lips. Um, I put a little bit of the Tower 28 lip gloss, but like it does kind of pick up my pilling of the of just my lips because they're so dry. So anyways, fifth hour, and I am just, hey, hey, stop. I am just so in love with the foundation. I hate my concealer, so also try not to look at that. But I love how my skin does not look dry. It still looks so radiant. It still looks even. It hasn't separated anywhere. No product has lifted either. It literally dried down to a point where it just looks so skin-like that it doesn't even look like I have any makeup on. The only thing it looks like I have is just my blush and the bronzer I applied. Other than that, the foundation is just, it's gorgeous. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple hours and wrap up. Oh my gosh. I just sat on a two hour meeting at work. And although it was pretty helpful, I'm so tired and my head hurts. I'm gonna go get tacos across the street. But this is my final check in. Um, it is now five. I did it one, two, so it's four hours after. Again, I freaking hate how this um, the concealer with the color corrector went on. So thankfully, this is not a concealer review. <laughs> um, but the foundation, y'all, looks so good. Like I gotta, I gotta hand it to Hourglass. Just look at how seamless that looks. It's a little drying here now, I feel, but to be completely honest, what I have going on is I have really sensitive skin. Um, I have a tiny little bit of a reaction here, so that could be it. But if you really look closely to like this area, it just still looks so smooth and still very radiant. And so I love 
the finish of this um but i love this now the only thing that sucks about this is how expensive it is and sure money is subjective but even people who got money gotta admit 58 dollars for a foundation like this tiny is insane well i don't know if it's tiny how much fluid ounces is this oh it's a one fluid ounce whatever but it's it's a lot but regardless what i love it's just it's so luxurious that's another thing i gotta mention hourglass kills it with the luxury part of its packaging um love the pump and the product in there is lovely so I do recommend this, but I would definitely maybe go and get a sample of it. Also, Sephora has a great return policy. Well, I'm not sure if it's great, but you can still return it. Thank you all so much if you uh, got this far for tagging along with me, uh, trying on this foundation. And let me know if this is something that you guys are going to pick up, what you think if you already tried it, did this work for you, did it not. And yeah, just have a conversation with me. And um, I will see you all in my next video. But again, like I said, catch me on Instagram because I'm also trying, excuse me, a lot of, if not all of my uh, makeup and reviewing it one by one on Instagram. So if you see something that you're like, ooh, I wanna try that, or maybe our opinion of that product is the same or opposite, definitely go and check that out and have a conversation with me there. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all in my next video, but I hope you have a great rest of your day, week, month, weekend, whatever. <laughs> and I'll see you guys all next time. Ciao. Adios. Look at my freaking cat scratch me. Can you see it? Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>